Oh man. Yeah, you know, we're all in we're all in, in loopy mode now. Oh, Loopster. Uh, you know, this, this lockdown shit is getting ooh, it's getting a little uh, it's little, little rough. It's scary. Mm-hmm. It's getting a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's only been a month. I know. Oh, like man. holy crap. And us yeah. being in this room together is a lot it's too. too yeah. Way too much. Yeah. Uh you know, so a, as we're all in lockdown, maybe if you're in lockdown in your living with somebody, yeah, like a roommate, mm-hmm. maybe they're starting to look a little good to you. Really? What? You know? Oh, Are there any benefits to roommate sex? Oh. Well, let's get into that. We ain't done yet. It's time for the P1 Podcast. Fun's not over yet. Completely uncensored and unfucking filtered, except for that part. Looking for the after party with it. The show's after show starts now. Have you ever or would you ever fuck a roommate? Oh, wow. Wild what? question. Wow, Eddie. That's what? a wild question. Making whoopee. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't Excuse know. Me? I felt like we were doing that. <laughs> Sky, I'm not doing this with you today. Not today. Not today, Sky. Not, not crazy Sky today. Uh, it's not the, the smartest thing to do. No. Mm-hmm. Because if it doesn't work out, then what? Mm-hmm. You're yeah. stuck with that person. Awkward. You think? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Uh, I've done this before. With, with B Dub? No, no. Hello, hello, hello. B Dub. Hello, hello, hello. No, not that guy. Uh, that's a little bit creepy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I've had other roommates. I mean, than oh, just I thought B-dub. it was just oh. B Dub. No, no, no. no. I, I, I was uh, like, he's a sweater. I, <laughs> <laughs> see, I envisioned Eddie walking into his room, opening the door late at night, and then B Dub says, Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 <laughs> hello. <laughs> That's the wah, B-dub. Wah, wah. Is that the what? B-dub mating call? <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. Wah? Okay. No, no guys. It wasn't. Oh, it wasn't, wasn't B-dub? It wasn't dub. Oh, okay, oh sorry. man. No, nah, it wasn't him. Huh. Uh, no, I had lived in a house with five other people. Okay. I always called it my real world house mm. here in San Diego. Five first, people? First house I lived in in San Holy Diego. Shit. Five people that lived in it. And I fell. I caught feelings for one of my roommates. Oh, no. We had oh, no. Uh, two girls and three guys. Oh, okay. So uh, one of the girls... I, I was into and eventually professed my love for her. Oh, love. Yeah. It was love. Cra- crazily, mm. I did say that. <laughs> oh, my God. I was how very old? young. <gasps> very young. Oh, uh, my God. How old was I? I think I was 21. Oh, wow. wow. Really young. You dropped and I, the L and, and you had found the one. I sat, I sat her down <laughs> and I said, oh, you know, it's crazy because we were really close friends at that point yeah. uh-huh. we were hanging out and you know i caught the feels mm-hmm. and i i sat her down <laughs> and i said to her you know this is crazy you know we're really good friends and i don't want to ruin our friendship but i think i'm in love with you okay bro this I isn't full, a movie I, it was this dawson's is, creek bro okay, it was what? like it was like, not like that it was full i, re- of I respect creek. this i would love to see this it was gorgeous. This. It was beautiful. <laughs> oh, it was beautiful. Yeah, when Dawson did that to Joey, she fell in love, and then she cheated on him with with Pacey. But what what fucking ever, you know? Yeah, that's that's fucked up. Where are you guys at? Are you like in the I living talk room about of this. the house? Oh, this were you are, drunk? Yeah. Are you painful? Drunk? Are you tell me you were drunk. No, are there not at all. Drunk? Stone cold sober, bro. No. I, Eddie, listen, no. listen, I'm very young and very dumb oh, at this no. point in my life. Oh no. And uh, I I felt at that time, <laughs> you when you're when you're super close with, and she was beautiful. Yeah. I, like I felt like I was in love with her. Yeah. And, and how maybe, old was she? Same age. Same age. Okay. Oh same God. Age. And we were we were not only hanging out with each other every yeah. day, but I lived with her, so I saw her every day. Have you ever mm-hmm. seen them titties? At that point, yeah. No. Oh wow. No, because uh, it was an uh, upstairs downstairs situation. Oh. I was I was the only guy downstairs, which was kind of awesome, but uh, yeah. she was an upstairs gal. Oh, okay. Oh. And so, but you know, she'd walk around in her little. Pajamas and shit yeah. like that, and yeah. I'd be, I'd be no going problem. nuts. And everything she did, you probably thought she was sending a message. Oh, you were debating about it in your head. Loved it. Oh yeah, she was so cute. Everything she did yeah. was adorable. Oh, and wow. so yeah, she opened that door just for me, just like that. Oh my god, god. did she this put her painful. Gatorade guys, next to my Gatorade guys, in the it's fridge? Very painful for me. I'm oh, so uncomfortable okay. right now. So I declare my love for her. Oh, this is and yeah. she, it's 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 confusing because we're friends. And so she gives you confused. She's face? confused she, by like what's going on. Yeah. Like, like she knew I was fucking. She knew. We she always I fucking, They always, always know. So she we looks. So you yeah. say you love her, and she looks at you she's and goes, like, "Hello, hello, hello." What? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's so gross. <laughs> that's so gross. No. Uh, and so there's no resolution. You want to get really uncomfortable. Ah. There's no resolution to our talk. That. Well, what how she, she didn't say, say it back. Is that possible? So we, we, I tell her this. Yeah. What she she's say? confused. 
I, I have to think about this. You know, I, 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 she just doesn't get it. And then instead of leaving, she goes upstairs to her room. She goes to her room. <laughs> yeah. And so now I'm fucking, now I'm freaked out. I'm like, oh my God, what did I just do? Like, this is the stupidest thing I ever could have done. Agreed. And do you, totally agreed. <laughs> and do you at that time believe she's really thinking about it? Do you believe? No, I think I fucked up. Okay, you, you believe at I that think moment I fucked that she doesn't yeah. love you and she's figuring out a way to tell you like, that. Well, nice. well, I fucked up the friendship. I fucked up everything. Yeah. You have to move I, out. I, I'm, I'm done. This I'm is done. a great episode of the real world. Yeah. Oh, so good. So then uh, a day goes by and <laughs> we we had plans. I was taking her and her two little brothers to go see the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> oh, you're such a puss. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> After you what? said you loved her. So so 20, I don't like 21-year-old Eddie. <laughs> so what? He was a fucking mess. Oh, oh, he was really whipped. Oh, he was really whipped. Oh, no. Sad. So I take her and her little brothers to go see the... <laughs> And it, you can't even say that. That sounds I, so stupid. I feel like she's going to ditch Listen you. Listen how dumb that sounds. Oh, like, I, I'm, like, I'm shocked gonna she meet. didn't cancel. You guys, yeah. hold on. There's a, there's a and, happy ending. And why would you say this the day before you know you have to go do that? Yeah. yeah. Right? Why not do it after how that? Perfect, yeah. How yeah. perfect would this have been? See, I feel like you should do it after because you just showed her how cool you were with yeah, her younger duh. brothers. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's going to Maybe like I you. jumped the gun a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> or you wait to find out she's actually dating one of the guys. On the Globetrotters? Something. Something. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so we go to the Harlem Grove Trotters. Yes. She sees uh, what a fucking great guy I am because well, obviously I'm interacting with her little brothers mm-hmm, and everything's yeah. going great. It's like a panty dropper. We get back <laughs> We get back dropper. to the house. <laughs> nice guys are always panty droppers, Emily. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sorry. Sky, oh, wow. <laughs> you are being a real bitch right now. <laughs> wow. This is really difficult. Okay, so you get back to the house. We get back to the house. Yeah. And I don't know what's going on with us. Like, are we like... Friends still? Is everything cool? Oh, God. I, it's so uncomfortable. Oh, oh, uh, awkward. And, and so uh, I go to, like, I was going to go down to my room, mm-hmm. and she comes and kind of stops me and plants one on me, kisses me. <gasps> oh, what a slut. So I'm like. And a kiss. It like, was a kiss. It kiss. was a kiss. Yeah. Like a full, like on, a full blown okay. kiss. And without even seeing it come. What is this, a movie? The little brothers are in the other room. Oh, no. Because I want to just go right to my bedroom. I mean, my room's right there. Right? Yeah. And I was like, let's, yeah, let's, let's keep this going. Let's do it. Uh, kiss this. But we kissed. And so I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. I, That's a good worked. sign. That's a good she, sign. She loves me too. Oh, you guys are in love. You're married. You're married. 100%. Yeah. These are your children now. And so we start to be in a relationship. We are roommates now in a relationship. Everybody else that was living there fucking hates this. Oh, I yeah, bet. I bet. They, they, they like are it. so uncomfortable oh. because we're all tight. We're all, you know, five five best friends, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. True story. True story. Yeah, true story. Did you guys all work together and pick to live in the house? <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> but you had to keep but the we, job to stay living obviously, there. Obviously. obviously. It's yeah. the real world. Yeah. It's the real world. Yeah. <laughs> it's when you stop being polite. Yeah, yeah, it's it's getting real. real. <laughs> it got, oh, we got real. Oh, did it? Oh, shit. We got real. Now, are you guys like having meals together? Are you cuddling on the couch? Are you feeding each other? Is she sitting on your lap? Is she all sleeping the time? in your bed every night? This is a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty uh, blissful for a little while. Yeah, we would watch nine hundred two one zero together. Oh, that's great. In, in sounds my great. bed. Did you have a smush room? <laughs> <laughs> Jersey Shore. Oh, wrong, wrong show. Wrong show. Uh, we smush would eat room. together. We oh. would spend like uh, uh, either I would get home from work or she would get home from work. We would kiss. Oh, oh like hi, how was your day? Yes. Oh, yeah. In like fact, or couple. make out sesh right there on you know in the common room. Oh my god, that oh. would make me and then fucking vomit. Roommates dude. would come in and out and be like, "What the?" Fuck? I'd be like, "Dude, oh. can you guys?" It, it was kind of weird. It was a weird situation. Oh, B Dub uh, must have been so jealous. B Dub didn't live there. Oh, this was pre Dub. Pre Dub. Pre Dub. Pre Dub. Pre Dub. I didn't Shut know there was a life. I didn't know there was a life before B Dub. Oh, great life. Really? That bastard got in my life. Ruined everything. And so things were going well. Until they weren't. Uh-oh. And she, she decided, you know what? This is too weird. I'm going to move out. And so that we can continue our relationship. So things are still going good in the relationship. Yeah, I, as far as I knew. She just, things are great. She just wants. But to you're moving too fast. You started your living relationship together. living together. Living together. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Whenever you see that on the real world, it usually doesn't work, guys. It's, what? 
Yeah. Well, you know, we were only like, this was in the yeah. 90s, so, you know, like, I don't know, six seasons in, I didn't know this. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you they would, they hadn't gotten this far. I don't think, mm. I don't think Pedro even had a season yet. Oh, my God. No, Pedro was season three. Mm. Whoa. San Francisco. That's Sorry. That's weird that you know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, was, I almost got cast on that oh, season. That's, that's the only that reason true. why I know. That's and so yeah. we both, by the way, still watch the challenge on MTV. Okay, we don't need to. They're here nor there. So everything, you know, it's going great. She says, you know what? Why don't I move out and get my own place? That way, you know, that we're not, you know, making everybody feel uncomfortable. I was loving it. Did you? My girl was right there. It was great. Did you feel like somebody got in her ear? And like, hey, you guys, you got to move out. It's too Maybe, much here. Maybe, I don't know. I wasn't thinking about it too much. I was so in love and so blissful. Love and just blind, like, man. this is great. And why, I feel like, I would feel like she was running away from me at this point. Because why wouldn't you guys move out together? Because you guys have already been living only, together. I mean, we were only together, together for, a, you know, very short time mm-hmm. when she decided to make this decision. Mm-hmm. But were you we were dis- not moving together ready. But were you disappointed? Was was little yeah. Eddie a little disappointed? I mean, I was 21, but yeah. You know. I, w- I was bummed. Because yeah. I was like, I like being able just to walk upstairs and go into a her room mm-hmm. or vice versa yeah. it was very convenient mm-hmm. and I gotta drive somewhere like Ugh. that's a lot of work so no big deal like okay I guess for the benefit of our relationship I guess this makes sense okay so I said okay cool so I spend all day I get the station van I was working at a radio station mm. I borrow the station van okay. and move her into her apartment completely by myself Oh, wow. wow. I didn't I didn't have any nice help. I moved a fucking couch by myself. Well, that's in, that's her bed. Wild. Like I moved She didn't help? Uh, she didn't help. She was working. And so oh, I was still like being the nice guy. Total there, pussy. Really. Total pussy move. Yeah. 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 I'm very surprised. This doesn't sound like Eddie. Yeah, no, well, this again, you know, I was a young guy. I had to get learn guy, your lessons. Pre dub. Mm-hmm. You gotta learn your lessons. <laughs> total pre dub. <laughs> and so uh, I get her completely moved in. I'm fucking dead tired, exhausted, eight hours by myself moving her into That's her apartment. Crazy. She had stairs. Oh god. Oh yeah, it was a it was a fucking nightmare, dude. Wow. So she gets home from work, and that's when she decides to break up with me. <gasps> and I'm like, couldn't you have done this before? <laughs> oh. I fucking spent all day moving you into your apartment. What did she say to that? Yeah, what is the reason? Uh, fucking she, bitch. She just was like, oh, I, you know, it was until today that I was really thinking about it. Today. This, this moving out thing and maybe, you know, this just isn't going to work. And, <gasps> but, and I'm like, Oh, she's full of shit. Are you, are you fucking... Dude. She totally used me. Oh, yeah, yeah. She totally 100%. used me. Big time, oh. big time. And so... I hope you let her have it. I was pissed. Good. At that point. And Oof. then, yeah, I've never spoken to her again since. Who did the friends choose? Remember we talked about uh, the last was, podcast? They, well, I was still at the house. So they were just like, so fuck her. So fuck her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and it was kind of fuck her anyway, because... She was a bitch. Wow. Yeah. You don't treat, you don't treat Eddie like Uh-oh. that. That's right. Oh, no like no that. more nice guy. Was that the oh. end of nice guy? That was, it was the death of him. <laughs> oh, that, oh, what you, happened? You only can get burned once, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that's you it. understand that, you know, bitches be crazy. That they, they are. What? They that's are. That's I'm looking uh, at two of them. So Wait. hooking up <laughs> with uh, a roommate doesn't necessarily work out. A lot of the times, yeah. And then if you're in my situation, you're like, Oof. "What do you? What? It, I can't imagine if we would have like not been together and still lived in that house, and I had the massive feelings I had. Uh, that would have been, oh, I can't even think brutal. about it. Like, like yeah. a guy goes into a room and you're just hanging out there. Oh my god, Eddie, Eddie, oh, it's, too it's okay, soon, Eddie. Thor, too soon. Thor, I found out that uh, shortly after we broke up, oh, she god. started uh, hooking up with her manager at her work. <laughs> uh, Which means she was that was going on. Yeah. That was going on. Yeah. that was going on. Thor, that sucks. Yeah, okay, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. See, that's ooh, wow. ooh. I would have. Oh god, he's he's upset about <laughs> it. Did Eddie, it was twenty you, years ago. Okay, did you <laughs> more? Than that. Did you did you do think about it at all about going down there and going after the manager? Or no. What do you think? I would. Of course I did. Yeah. Of course I did. I, I, what ooh. stopped you? Uh, well, cooler heads prevail, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Cooler heads prevail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Good for you. So, yeah. Wow. Hooking up with your roommate That's can have some dire consequences. Yeah. Yeah. But we're in a lockdown. We're in a pandemic. Ooh. Yeah. So you can't be going out slaying bitches, man. Slaying bitches. That's the worst. You, can't, the you worst. can't be hooking up with, with, the, with the long dongs. Uh, no more no. long dongs? <laughs> no long dongs. How the fuck am I going to live? You can't. Oh, my God. So, you know, maybe you live with a, a roommate hmm. and they're in lockdown. And they got a long yeah. dong? And they got a long dong. Oh, uh-huh. shit. And maybe they're just like, okay, we can watch a uh, movie here, mm-hmm. and things are looking pretty good. No why? one's going to know about it. Yeah. Why, why do they talk like that? Yeah. Because we're in the lockdown. <laughs> why do they talk like and that, though? And we're still... just chilling. All uh, the energy goes to your long dong, not your go, voice? Well, <laughs> what's the problem? Maybe, maybe the roommate. Oh. 
Oh, maybe the roommate. She, she didn't, she didn't look roommate good. Roommate, fucking. <laughs> she didn't look good a couple months ago. Now all of a sudden. Yeah, but you. No, she's definitely put on the quarantine fifteen. <laughs> yeah, if you're in a if you're in a drought, uh-huh. and it's been a, let's say three months. Uh-huh. I've had sex in three months. Okay. Uh-huh. And it's eleven o'clock at night. Oh God. Thor's fucked a fat chick before, <laughs> and he doesn't talk about it. He won't. He I won't understand talk about why it. you had to say that. <laughs> that was very blatant, Eddie. The way you put that, there was no fucking sugarcoating <laughs> that. It was just like fucking Tourette's. <laughs> Thor fucked a fat chick. He was. <laughs> oh, he, Thor was going to try to say it yeah. in a different way, yeah, and Eddie no. just went. Well, well, fuck this guy. <laughs> well, how dare listen. he? How dare he try to like skirt the issue? I was going to say it in more of yeah. like a, you know, a girl that you wouldn't think you're that into. Yeah. All of a sudden, starts looking. No, 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 at no, 11 no. o'clock Thor, at night on a Thor Wednesday. Thor fucked a fat chick once <laughs> yeah. when he was uh, very young and he wasn't, you know, very Listen. skilled with the ladies. Listen, and I was, so I was very, I was like, I was like 23. I was new in radio. I was working or a lot. New, newly sober. I was newly sober. Yeah. Sometimes, and they, it was just gonna be a blowjob. <laughs> 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 That's she, fine. She said a, just a blowjob. A blowjob yeah. from a heavy yeah. hottie is totally acceptable. yeah, and That's nobody okay. was gonna know. It's like totally a moped. Acceptable. You know Holy what I mean? God. It's fun to ride when your friends aren't watching. Okay. So I thought, <laughs> I thought, you know, what's the big deal? Yeah. But then you can only get so many blowjobs, and you, you want to get it in. And I'm just like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. Oh, it's all good. We've all been there. Ever We've there. all been there. We have. I don't think I've ever. Uh, not really. I mean. So <laughs> I've been there. Okay, you've been. Uh, I've definitely been there. Definitely been there. Yeah, yeah. So if you were living with that girl, and she was your roommate, and you're like, clearly, I'm not. You know, I have no interest in her sexually. Whatever. She pays her bills. I pay my bills. But then you're stuck in the lockdown, and you know, it's you're, you're, It's been a month. It's been a month. Do you go? All right. Here's you know what? okay. I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna throw this out there. Take it what you want with it. Oh, I don't want to nervous. Oh, I'm gonna throw it back. I'd rather hook up with like a pretty large, pretty in the face, larger <laughs> chick than a skinny ugly chick. Ugly chick. What if she got great tits? The well, skinny I, chick has great tits. And what have you seen like an ugly chick with great tits though? That's very rare. No, I know what that happens. So? Oh yeah, because I go, I'll, oh, I'll say, I'll look at a chick with a good body mm. and a horrible face, a butter face. I oh, know you love butter. Oh, he butter. loves butter. I know oh, you love butter. butter I, mean, I don't. You know, think if that she got way. butter face, but she got a great body, I could do it. Yeah, I, I could do it. But I'm, I'm thinking of, I'm think, I'm not thinking of that. I'm thinking of just an ugly chick and a larger, pretty girl. Pretty girl. I would go larger, pretty girl, over just flat ugly. I don't, I don't, I don't, mm. I don't I maybe don't disagree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't, I maybe don't disagree. So that being said. A weird conversation. Yes, so weird. <laughs> you would do it. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, so this no. is kind of your thing. You've been known to do it before. So yeah. I mean, it was one time. <laughs> so yeah, one if, time. if roommates oh. are looking kind of good right now, Ooh. you just you just got to be wary. You got to be careful yeah. how mm-hmm. you do it, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the people at Men's Health put out a whole pro and con list. Men's uh, Health does some really interesting they really articles. Do. Yeah. They really do. You know, it's time. Like, yeah. It's like I, you think you know, a better way to get at, well, washboard abs no. would be their thing. No, that's no, where they're like going. How to fuck your roommate. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, or should you fuck your roommate? Yeah, right? You know, like, probably. It's yep. weird. Yeah. So the pros are proximity. Like Eddie said, you just it's they're nice. right there. It's nice. They are. Very convenient. Yes. And that's the second thing. Convenience. Like you don't have to do all these elaborate over-the-top dates when you live together. Because it, unless the globetrotters are in town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a patty right? dropper, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to like go over the top with all the bells and whistles you, to get them to put out. Did you get those tickets from the station? Of course. Uh, uh, even better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they say one of the best things about hooking up with your roommate is the potential for more. The fact that they're right there, and if you want to go back to that well, it's normally there for you. Mm-hmm, so, yeah. so you know, you're That's great. You're hooked up. You're ready to go. Now, here are the cons. The cons. That was the only pros? Those are, the, those are your pros. Well, it's there. It's there. You know? It's there. It's convenient. It's close. Uh, the cons, it's close and it's convenient. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. It's too close now because mm-hmm. when you don't want it to be close anymore, it's still close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and then what if you want a new exactly. thing to come in? Yeah. And then your old thing you is can't. there and that's awkward. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Even if you have a thing where it's like, oh, you know, friends, we're just friends with benefits and, you know. Always, it doesn't matter. Always. It doesn't matter. Someone it's always feels. somebody's gonna catch Some feelings, feelings. Always does. or you're just gonna be grossed out, or mm-hmm. something. Something is bad is gonna yeah. happen. Yeah. Jealousy. Yeah. yeah. They say another negative is there's fewer boundaries. Um, that you don't have your me space. They know everything about you. You guys know when each other go to the bathroom, the whole thing. They say those normal relationship boundaries 
aren't there because you live together and know a lot about each other. The only good thing about my situation is, like I said, there was an upstairs, downstairs. downstairs. Mm -hmm. So I never, I didn't use her bathroom. Yeah. She didn't use my bathroom. And so, you know, we didn't, I didn't have that problem. I didn't know when she was taking a shit or anything yeah. like mm -hmm. that. So, cause that, that's too much too soon, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, anything like that. Um, it is weird though when you share a washing machine, you got to pull out other people's clothes and oh, stuff like that. Yeah. Cause then you, you know, like, oh, is there See fucking that. skid marks on there? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You know, it's like, that's, that's, that's never fun. No. Sky, how does your husband deal with that? It's crazy. I don't know, you guys. Tons of skid marks from Sky. <laughs> yeah, I'll ask him. I'll ask him. Uh, they say another negative about hooking up with the roommate is financial issues. Uh, if one of you is in charge of collecting the rent, the utilities. Oh, I'd, I'd have no problem. <laughs> yeah. I Thor does that now in his relationship. <laughs> yeah. That's true. How is it with your roommate, Haley? <laughs> <laughs> the first, let's go. Whoa. She goes, oh, I can't. I, I, my check doesn't come until the third. All right, well, if it's by here by the fourth, that's ten dollars more. <laughs> what? I don't, more. Wow. I don't fuck around. I don't fuck around. If it's the fifth, fifty dollars more. Wow. It just keeps going God. Up. Oh, it just man. Keeps going up. I mean, you're a, yeah, that sounds like a landlord, not a roommate. Listen, uh. you know. Wow. No. Got to keep her on a tight leash. And the <laughs> final con uh, for hooking up with your roommate, Eddie. I'm sorry to tell you. Uh oh. Rejection is tougher. Dude. You mm. lose a roommate as well as a friend. It was. It's devastating. Oh, Eddie. I'm so sorry. I thought I was in love with her. Oh, but you said mm. you what were. I, d I declared it. Not a smart move. Did you guys start saying I love you to each other? No. No. Okay. No. She acted like that never happened. Yeah, well, so did I. <laughs> <laughs>